Welcome back. If records tell the story, the matchup between Sioux City East and Ankeny was dead even. Both teams had 17 wins. Both are just outside the top 10 in Class 4A. The winner would earn a trip to next week's Boys State Tournament. The Substate Final on a neutral floor over in Fort Dodge. First quarter, East High's Jalik Dunson gets himself open. Drops in a nice jump shot. Dunson led the Black Raiders with 26 points. 28 actually. The Black Raiders also got a big game from senior Savion Armstrong. The senior goes through the lane for two of his 26. East down only two after a quarter. East would fall behind by 12 in the second quarter, then rally. Danny Callahan was also in double figures. Raiders down only four at the half, 33-29. The Black Raiders built a six-point lead in the third quarter. A strong drive by Armstrong. It's 47-41, East in front, but Ankeny would control the latter stages of the fourth quarter. Jackson Smith uses the Euro step through the lane to score. Ankeny keeps East out of the state tournament, winning at 73-67. In Nebraska, second-ranked Osmond looking for a trip to state against McCool Junction. The Tigers were rolling right away. Sophomore Ryan Schmidt flies in for the layup. Osmond up 16-10 after a quarter. More of the same in the second quarter. Osmond passes it around the horn, and Keaton Timmerman goes baseline and gets the bucket. Tigers up by 12 at the half. They blow it open in the second half. Grayson Schultze drives past his man for two more. Osmond up 19 after three quarters. The Tigers don't let off the throttle much. Nice feed to Timmerman for the easy lay-in. Osmond wins by 30, 63-33. They'll play at State a week from Thursday down in Lincoln. Other district finals in Nebraska. In C1, O'Neill falls to top-seeded Adams Central, 61-22. In D1, Laurel Concord Coleridge heads to State after beating Anselmo Myrna, 63-37. Fullerton tops West Holt by three. And in D2, O'Neill St. Mary's advances to State, beating Hyannis, 74-42. Boys regional openers in South Dakota, second seeded Dakota Valley hosting Beersford. The Panthers never trailed Paul Bruns, already DV's all-time leading scorer as a junior. He gets three of his 24 tonight. The Panthers turn up the defense. Bruns will corral the loose ball, fires it ahead to Chase Montang for the lay-in. DV was up 11-2 out of the gate. Beersford tries to catch up. They make a good feed inside to six foot seven Caleb Larson. The Watchdogs were down by 15 after a quarter, 26-11. The Panthers. They were clicking. Alex DeFeer with the nice dish to freshman Isaac Bruns, and DV moves into round two, 73 35.